Hello folks and welcome to this video. This one here is to talk about F1's We Race This One message ahead of the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's essentially our 20 minutes before the race where F1 plays out a pre-recorded message. The drivers have 20 or 30 seconds to do a gesture they feel seems fit. And it takes about half of a minute, a minute and a half, including the message, for F1 to do this as part of every week. And it's something that started last year organized by the drivers as their end racism display where 14 of the 20 drivers of the grid at the time decide to kneel as a gesture to show solidarity against racism a gesture which has gone back in significance after the murder of george floyd by Derek chauvin last year which sparked the resurgence of the black lives matter movement and yeah this year f1 after having co-opted it last year and made it into their own kind of end racism thing. Decided to rebrand as We Race as One, with tenets including sustainability and diversity and inclusion, as well as end racism. And nowadays, well, where we are now, it's about 50 50. Half the drivers stand, half the drivers kneel. But it always brings up some important points. Because F1 isn't an equal sport. And motorsport is a subsection of sport which in itself can be seen as quite culturally conservative. Especially when you have a look at where these series end up visiting. And actually, where F1 is this week, Brazil, Sao Paulo, is a good example of that. I mean, if you want to talk about things like racism, diversity and inclusion, you look at Brazil's government, led by Jair Bolsonaro, who is a horrible, horrible authoritarian that, uh, well, in addition to being quite openly a well-known uh, around parts of the world to where I am as being homophobic, has done so many different policies that have affected so many people in Brazil, particularly minority ethnic groupings, and also his policy on the environment seems uh, very, let's say, not progressive. It includes, for example, when F1 very nearly moved to Rio de Janeiro and tore down a race forest, a race forest, a rainforest to race in it. It was going to be a uh, land for racing. So I guess race forest, as horrible as it sounds, would have been what it was. All tore down. And you could just talk about the mass deforestation that's happening in the Amazon as well. Then part of this comes back to F1, doesn't it? Let's decide to do a triple header that is Mexico, Brazil, and Qatar. I don't know how those three are that geographically similar that logistically a triple header works. I mean, it doesn't really. You saw the delays that meant that some teams didn't even have all of their parts before practice or even really qualifying for Sao Paulo this weekend. Would have made more sense to do the triple header as... United States, Mexico, and Brazil. In fact, usually do a double header for United States and Mexico, given that they are relatively close together, Austin and uh, Mexico City, but they didn't this season. And next season, F1 isn't really doing much better. I think we've got three separate trips for the Americas. One for Miami at the start of the season, one for Montreal in the middle of the season. And one across for the end of the season with the United States, Mexico, and Brazil. I'm sorry, for a sport that's trying to be sustainable or environmentally friendly, I don't see how that adds up. In comparison, even within the FIA, the WRC is looking at doing things like double headers and making it all kind of each flyaway is either on its own or paired up with something that's relatively near it. Just doesn't make much sense, you know. And in addition to that, WRC, whilst introducing hybrid next season, is also going to fully sustainable fuels for all its categories. F1 is making their fuels more sustainable, but they're not doing what the WRC is doing. And that's the thing, F1 is supposed to be the pinnacle of motorsport. Yet it still has problems in diversity. It still has problems in sustainability. 
it still has problems of ending racism or countering racism. I mean, just look at the kind of abuse that Lewis Hamilton gets. Even on a weekend where, if you look at his display in the F1 sprint yesterday, he's on another level. Honestly, I... A lot of the time nowadays, I'm lost for words. Talking about F1 and what they're doing or what they're not. It's... Disappointing doesn't really cut it, you know? And to say I was in the paddock, back at Silverstone, and that's supposed to be made from recycled materials, it feels like, especially with things like sustainability, it's one step forward, two steps back. Thank you for watching.